What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the RPG tutorial series and in this episode we will add some UI sounds for our equipment system that we improved in the previous episode and also add a desert wind ambience loop sound so when we are exploring the world it feels more alive. It's going to be a very easy video to follow so let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing that we need to do is of course import the sounds. So for this, what we're going to do is go to our audio folder that we have created. And first of all, let's begin by importing the UI sounds. Uh, so let's go to UI. We have here our level ups. Oh, well, in this case, I will link once again, three more sounds in the description. You can get them th through free sound, which is the uh, place where I got them and linked. Um, but of course, you can use whatever sounds uh, you prefer. So in this case, let's go ahead and select the button click and button hover and drag them into the content browser. And boom, here they are. Now, maybe you cannot really hear them in the recording, but they're very subtle and they're great for what we need. And then let's go one, um, you know, previous folder go to the audio man and then let's just right click create a new folder and call this something as ambience and in this case we're going to import the last one that we need which is desert wind loop and then make sure to double click to open this desert wind loop and make sure to enable looping this is very very important okay so you save close and there we go this will basically play in a loop which is what we need all right, so now that we have all the sounds that we need imported, let's begin by just adding the UI sounds. So in this case, let's go to the UI, uh, sorry, not the UI folder, but the equipment system folder, because that's where we have that UI. And then in the UI folder inside of the equipment system, we have the WB equipment, which is basically the main widget for all of our UI, as you can see, but we want to interact with these slots. And as we saw in the previous episode, they are its own uh, widget so that means that we need to open the will be a couple slot all right so if we go and select the bottom as you can see here is where we're gonna go ahead and play everything if we uh, go down you can see they have this pressed and hovered sound so for the pressed sound what we're going to do is just go ahead and find the one that we just you know uh, bottom click that we imported right and make sure of course to not use the click on button one that comes by default with Unreal, no, we want bottom click, the one on game audio UI, okay, the one that we imported. And then for the hover, well, this will be, you know, the hover sound. Uh, again, make sure it's the one that we imported. And now if you, you know, press play and go here and you know, hover and click, they play. And maybe in the recording it's not very noticeable because I have more, my mic volume higher. Um, but they're playing and it looks very cool. Cool, so that instantly just, you know, enhanced the whole UI a bit. Um, and let's not only do it for the slide, but also for, you know, the, um, you know, when we click the slot and have a, an item, also for this kind of uh, bottom list panel, right? The item slot. So let's double click on our widget. And let's go and select the button and let's do exactly the same thing that we did. Let's go down until we see this pressed sound and go and just search for, you know, button click. Make sure again to select the one under game out of UI, the one that we imported. And then on hovered sound, this will basically be the hovered uh, button hover. And of course, if you want to make them louder or whatsoever, you can go to the uh, you know sound itself and just increase the volume but in my case I think that they're perfect so now if I also save and go and press play and just for example pick up you know these items it also just works and if you want you can add different sounds for each one of them but I think that this looks pretty cool and that's how we have you know enhanced a bit of the audio on that side but let's also go ahead and do it for the pause menu. I think that it makes sense, right? So let's go into the UI folder. And in this case, we have here main menu, pause menu. We will also do it for the main menu too. So let's begin with the pause menu. We're gonna select the three buttons at once, with control or shift, whatever you prefer, and then go down. There we go, press sound. Again, this will basically be button click under game audio UI, the one that we imported. And then on hovered, button hover. I'm gonna make sure that indeed they are added into the three different buttons and now we can save and compile let's do the same with the main menu so select 
three buttons go down and on the press sound button click on the game audio ui and then hovered this will basically be hover button hover and there we go now we also have this audios for the pause menu which is you know very nice actually like it just improves everything quite a bit and you know that's pretty much it for you know ui for this episode in terms of sound so now the only thing that we have left is to add the ambience um wind desert loop sound into our main level so let's go into the levels folder and open up desert and basically it will be as simple as just you know um playing a you know desert uh sound the one that we imported in a loop into the now we you know we have many ways to do this with there's two ways one is to manually drag the um, sound you know component into the level um and another one is just to play it by code in the level blueprint and that's the approach that we are going to take just in case in the future we want to for example you know turn the volume down uh change your wind sound whatever there's a bit more control we do that with code rather than a uh, you know uh, you know sync component uh so let's go ahead and just go up here into this icon and open the level blueprint we did this for our day you know um night cycle and then on the begin play i'm gonna do it separately so let me just add a sequence here okay i'm gonna do this on the first route and then this on the second route and what are we going to do well just go ahead and say play sound to d but instead of just playing sound to d what i mentioned before is do a spawn sound to d and the difference between just playing and spawning is that with spawning we have an output so we can save the sound on a variable and later change the volume change the sound asset and change all of these parameters which would not be available with just play sound and that's why we're doing all of this by code all right so now let's just search for our desert wind loop make sure again to double click and open it and select looping to true very important and now with that said we are good to go we need to maybe experiment with the volume but in theory this should work as you can see it is working maybe in the recording again it isn't very noticeable but it's working now it is very loud so there's two options to change the volume from this node or from the you know asset itself let's open the asset itself and put the volume to be at maybe point three even oh, maybe that's too low um let's see no i think that's actually pretty good i like it yeah i like it well let's do 0.4 i think 0.4 will be a sweet spot it's kind of of you know in between yeah okay i like 0.4 and there we go we have kind of this desert wind ambience and you know in a later episode uh, we might add some music right some ambience music changing randomly uh, for now it's not really planned, but if you want to see that, let me know in the comments, but it's very straightforward for you to add, so it can be even like a challenge that you could do without my help, right? Um, but let's see. Alright guys, so that's it guys, if you found this so helpful, I would really appreciate it if you like the video and subscribe to my channel. Remember they have full access to the project files through Patreon or YouTube members, join my Discord server to talk with me and other devs, check out my new course with Game Dev TV and how to make a stealth game in Unreal, follow me on my socials, and now yes, with all that said, bye bye.